Welcome to the Wealth Without Wall Street podcast, your guide to understanding how to get out of the Wall Street rat race and start your own mailbox money lifestyle. Now, don't let the handsome Southern draws fool you. These financial minds are teaching our country to enhance savings, increase cash flow, and create passive income, all without the help of Wall Street. Are you ready to break through? Here are your hosts, Russ Morgan, Joey Murray, and Will DeShazer. Wealth Without Wall Street listeners, welcome to episode zero of the podcast. This is a simple preview about what we're all about on this show. I'm sitting here with Russ Morgan, CFP, and Joey Murray, the Italian stallion. How's it going, guys? Good. I don't know if I really am excited about you using that CFP. Like, I have that. I went through all the work to get that. But at this point, I almost hold that as like a badge of dishonor. When the mm. when I when I read that financial planning has failed, I totally believe it. So I really don't say that. But I appreciate you bringing that out. It's just one of those styles that I have to But look, on. that's what this show is all about, is it not? You right there, what you just did is test the conventional wisdom and the thought process of everybody listening to this today. Because they think, you have a CFP, you're wise, you're going to teach me what everybody else is teaching, right? Is that true? No, I hope I'm teaching you what nobody's teaching you. Because there's so much knowledge that we don't know that we don't know. And what I've learned in the financial planning world, what I've learned in the two years to get that designation, was everything everybody already does know. And it's not much, and I've already seen it fail. I mean, in 2008, what I learned came true to being untrue. And I want to give uncommon advice, not common advice. And by the way, I gave you some uncommon advice many years ago, and thankfully you took it. That's right. Yeah. So for those of you uh, may not know, Russ was a friend first and then came to me and said, hey, by the way, I know you're in the mortgage industry and I just happen to have these clients that need mortgage advice. Do you mind if I start sending you referrals? And of course, as any good mortgage sales guy, I said, yes, sir, I will buy this book for $20 from you to learn what you do because I would love referrals from you. So that's kind of how we got started. And obviously what Russ had to share with me was not based on Wall Street. It was outside of the common knowledge. And that's exactly what I needed. Being in the real estate industry, we don't resonate with these traditional financial planning ideas. They just don't work for us. And so I was hungry. I was in need of some better strategies to provide for my family, to save for college, for building passive income. And so that was that was right on. Perfect timing for me. Well, and Joey, you know, the show is called Wealth Without Wall Street for a reason, right? right. Typically what we see and what we're going to talk about in future episodes, if you'll subscribe, you'll get the hang of this and you'll get to learn what we're talking about in a more intricate detail. But we're talking about Wall Street is separating people from their money on a very regular basis and getting paid pretty well to do so. Right, Russ? I mean, you were in that industry for how long? Tell me, you've got a really unique background in getting there. Can you explain that really quickly? Well, for four and a half years, I did it all the traditional way. And, you know, if you want to see the definition of a financial genius, look it up. It was a rising market. And that's what I experienced in my first couple of years in the business. And that's what people are experiencing right now in 2017. They're seeing market highs and they're following traditional wisdom and thinking it's going to get them ahead. Yet when you talk to economists and they say, well, you know, if you look at what the Federal Reserve's balance sheet shows, yeah, they're probably buying these assets, which is overinflating the market. We can go into detail on that later, but the basic behind that is, I learned that the basic financial principles that we believed in, we followed, and what I studied and thought that I was going to be this Wall Street guru basically are made up on a few rules that a handful of people understand and everybody else is playing on a game that they can't win. And I just want to find games that we can win. My kids play tic-tac-toe, they play tag, they play hide-and-go-seek because they're simple and they can win them with just basic strategy. The financial rules out there are way too complex. We need to simplify it. And this show and my background goes to say, hey, there's got to be better ways. There's got to be ideas out there that we can take part in, that we can participate in. We don't have to hire it out. We don't have to spend millions of dollars in fees to these outside entities that do it for us. We can do that. And that's what this show is about is return on information. And if you'll subscribe to the future episodes, you're going to hear very specific and simple ways to do that. 
So the game is really, and Joey, Joey's was in the corporate world, right? Joey, you were with one of America's largest players, one of America's largest banks, and you were over a group of how many loan officers at one point? Yeah, I had 25 loan officers that I led. I was doing over 200 loans a year personally. I had no real reason to leave what I was really good at, what I love. But the more that I was learning this, these ideas as a client, I just got passionate about it. I just got convicted that there are options. There's alternatives to what we've always been told. And again, I had no lack of financial advice from a big corporate bank. But really, I mean, let's face it. The Wall Street mindset has permeated virtually every part of our lives. And it's the best sales job that has ever been done on our country. We bought it hook, line, and sinker. And I was in that world and I just could not understand how anybody ever gets ahead. So these things I learned, implemented for my family. And I said, this has got to get out. These people in my industry, the real estate industry, need to know these things. Well, you got to resonate with that too, Will. Coming from that millennial background, I mean, you entered the financial world with none of that prior experience of understanding what it was, but you got to watch your parents go through it. Yeah, I got to watch my parents get fired a couple of times. I got to watch the booms and the busts. I got to experience my packed fund almost be depleted to go to college. Uh, Fortunately, that panned out for me. But gosh, how many people who are my age, I'm 26, got a college education. But, you know, there are so many people who are in my generation that just say, look, I'm fed up with that. There's got to be another way. I mean, millennials are not investing in the stock market for a reason. It's because we've been burned so many times again and again. They're okay with taking a bit of a risk on themselves, right? We trust ourselves to consume information as best possible and then go utilize that information. ROI, like you've mentioned before, return on information. That's what this show is all about. That's why as a listener, if you're subscribing to this show, you are going to get a massive amount of information on how to build wealth without Wall Street in ways that are always coming in, right? We've talked before and in future episodes, our listeners are here about how this whole elaborate scheme of having one big number, right? And and building your wealth to acquire this one big seven figure, six figure, 10 figure number, and then slowly depleting that number as you die off in space as the years go by, right? How backwards is that thinking? Well, it's backwards because you go back to my financial planning roots, and that was what I was taught, was to accumulate a certain amount of money so that way they won't run out in retirement. But what I experienced was exactly the opposite. What happened is, is one, either people do deplete it at a faster rate and they end up dependent on others, which we see that on wide scale right now in America. But the other part is, is those people who did start seeing their number, that big number coming down, what did they do? They quit spending. But what was their whole dream? What was the thing the advisor who was helping yeah. them accumulate go the money? Go play golf when you retire. Go to Napa during peak We need season. to save this money. Yeah, because you're going to do all of those things. You're going to mission trips. You're going to take kids on vacations. You're going to do all that stuff. But the reality is, is that people stop doing those things because they're dead scared of their money running out. And they quit. And that's the way I believe financial planning has died And we have to revive a completely different concept. And I love it that you have this millennial, this innovative concept and idea. It fits right in with my mentality of figuring out if there's better ways. And thankfully, you have somebody like Joey who can help us guide this along the way. Well, I I think just reiterating what we the whole purpose why we're here is you're going to hear things like passive income. That's not something that's widely talked about. We are going to inundate people with that kind of knowledge because we believe that's the answer, right? Ultimately, passive income is your means to be able to choose whether you go to work, right? Retirement is kind of a a bad term in my mind because we're not ever ending work. It's just, what are we going to spend our time on? It might be mission work. Like you said, it might be something you're more passionate about than what you're doing in your day-to-day job. But if you don't have passive income, you'll have a choice, right? Yeah. You're going to work. And just because you stop physically working at a place of employment does not mean that that paycheck should stop coming in. And this is exactly what we preach. And that's the way to financial freedom. And we truly do believe that. Here's one thing, though. Is this podcast going to be 100% like, like very – content already oriented and like already I'm messing up my words. You're going to figure out that 
I'm not polished. You're okay? from a good old Montgomery, Alabama. I'm not polished. And there ain't I'm, I'm, I'm wrong okay with that. It. I'm not polished. Now my shoes will be, uh, but my words, my vocabulary will not be. They're definitely. <laughs> oh, man, come on! <laughs> but look, this is a fun show. I mean, we are not just out here preaching the gospel on the show about financial freedom. We have a really good time. And in order to get to that good time, subscribe. Hear hear about Joey missing our weekly workout class for what lunch at a local spot i mean come on i I will say that is worth subscribing for okay (laughs) just do it well and all the pictures that have come with it because will you've done a great job of putting together show notes and putting together film and footage that's going to go along with this i think you're going to enjoy the show for not only the content but also the characters behind it because we've got great guests that we've already done interviews with on these future episodes and just the idea that we're doing episode zero it's got to tell you that we think outside the box. I don't even know if there is a box that fits inside of this podcast. There is absolutely not a box that fits inside of this podcast. So, guys, if you want to hear more, a structure of our show, it's always us three. Uh, we are all co-hosts of the show. We do have interviewees and guests from time to time who are professionals in certain areas of earning passive income, whether that be real estate, whether that be online, whether that be in business ventures or venture capitalists. We've got people from all over the nation who join us on the show to teach you how to really apply this method of building wealth without Wall Street. Well, and I think our show listeners are constantly made up of that real estate builder community. It's made up of the young professional who's looking for a, a better way. Or from my background, just the the dentists, the physicians, the veterinarians, all the people that are in a world where they've spent all their life studying and trying to make great incomes, which they are, but now are just being preyed upon by the financial world and basically teaching them things that they go, oh, I can't figure this out. So I guess I have to follow your logic and they end up in wrong places. That's who... We really want to be able to continue to speak to and how do we hit them on a daily basis through this podcast. So please subscribe. I think you're going to love it. And I will add this. Who shouldn't listen to this, right? The person that says, I'm good. I think I'm fine. Obviously, this isn't for you because we're not ashamed about the fact that this is different. Um, If you're going to want to just go with the herd, I wouldn't subscribe, honestly. Well, but here's the thing, too. I love the fact that one of the best things we have in our job is that we constantly have people saying, why haven't I heard about that? Why hasn't my advisor talked to me about that? I think this is wrong. I I watched this television uh, (laughs) yeah, financial evangelist or whatever, you know, talk about it this way or this entertainer or this advisor. I'm good with that. Please, let's come here with questions. Chime in on our chats and stuff like that so where we can answer those questions because those are the ways that I learn. So if you're a contrarian, listen, I love it. Please give us those points because that's why we're here. That's what we're talking about. It's not that we believed everything we're talking about 10 years ago. We didn't. We actually probably believed the exact opposite. But as we've tried those things, we've seen them fail. We've seen them fall apart in our own lives and in the lives that we've been trying to help. That's what this show's about is how do we hit those people? So to the listeners out there tuning into episode zero right here, subscribe if you want to hear three professional gentlemen from the South teach you a real way about personal finance, right? Teach you the truths behind Wall Street of how to build your wealth without Wall Street. Because look, it's not just a place in you know Southern Manhattan. It's a mentality. It's a mindset that is being pushed down every single American's throat, whether you know it or not. And believe it or not, these three guys right here from Alabama, of all places, are about to put it on its head and pivot it back and forth. So subscribe to the show today to get more of this in your podcast inbox every single week. It's a weekly show. This has been the Wealth Without Wall Street podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the show to break free of the Wall Street mindset and begin building wealth on your terms in places you understand so that your wealth will never run dry. See you next episode.